So in this video, we are going to learn about what are actuators and their types. So the definition of actuators is a component in a system that responds to the signal given to it. Okay. So um, for our robotic system, so what happens is, you know, when the robot is in the environment, what happens is it needs to um, react to the environment, right? Just to, you know, just as human beings can um, like run after watching a tiger in front of them. So that's how the robot can act, uh, work uh, or take action as well. Okay. So the mechanism is robot works with his brain. Here I've given you a picture of a microcontroller Arduino Uno. It has a little bit of memory, so I'm calling it robot's brain. Okay, and um, the actuator system is basically motor drives. Okay, motor. So with this motor drives, what it does is it moves. Okay, so that's the thing. So after getting the signal from the environment, what it does is it moves the motors, and then the robot, for in terms, moves as well. Okay. Now some actuator examples would be uh, motor drives, pneumatic devices, hydraulic devices, thermal or magnetic and mechanical okay so as you can see from the names what happens is i'm going to um, describe them a little bit more in, in um in depth okay so um, motor drives are basically any system with motors okay any system with motors so now for example you probably have seen escalators in shopping malls lift devices in houses in shopping malls and then you have cars okay cars use motor wheels right so wheels are uh, attached to the motor so that they can move then you have turbines to get the energies right and then even for here you can see a um, picture of an arm robot so arms the joints they have motors to move okay so that's like the importance of motor drives, they're everywhere. We're going to go um, learn more about the motor drives in the next um, video. Now, let's learn about pneumatic devices. So, pneumatic devices are the devices that uses air pressure to apply mechanical force and um, displacement, okay, just to get some work done, okay, that's the thing. So they, what they do is they use some kind of air pressure, and in here you can see like one of the devices on the um, like uh, right side for us, or on the left side for you, it's the smaller one, um, okay. So what happens is it could have like a you know air pressure tube, and then when you turn on the device, what ha what would happen is something would come out due to the air pressure, right? So that's what we call pneumatic devices, and it doesn't really have to be air pressure, but it's just it uses the formula of pressure, okay? Now here is a typical example of one pipe pneumatic control system, okay? So on this, um, just um, pause the video if you need to like analyze the system a bit more. Here you can see there is an air supply on this left side, okay, using your motor system. And um, see, you can see motor drives everywhere. And there's a restrictor here, so you can, you're can you controlling the pressure. And then you have a um, controller at the bottom, then you have a gauge diaphragm. And on this side, you have some kind of piston, right? So every time you some, put some kind of air, this is going to move these spring things, okay? So this would be the actuator, okay? So that's a pneumatic devices, all right? Now, let's learn about hydraulic devices, okay? So hydraulic devices are the ones which uses liquid power to do simple work. Okay, so what are hydraulic devices? They use liquid fluid power to do simple work. Okay, so here, as you can see on the example, there is this tube here, and there's, as you can see, two arrows on the leftmost side, okay, on figure one, uh, if you start from the left-hand side. And here, as you can see, there is a small arrow going down, and the big arrow coming up, right? So what is happening is, when you, as you know, the liquids are incompressible, right, you can compress air, and um, you can't really compress solid as well. However, um, this is uh, liquids, when you push it through one side, the force will be generated on the other side, okay, so if you push um, if you give a force on this side, what's going to happen, um, you know, the small amount is going to generate a bigger amount of force on the other side, okay? So that's why the bigger arrow, it um, represents the intensity. Then this example could be shown through this water pistol, okay? And um, this water pistol, when you press the, you know, um, like key here, what would happen is you generate a little bit of force and the there is a very small amount of opening through the um, gun right the, the pistol so what's going to happen is it's going to like um throw water with a huge amount of intensity okay so and on the other side you can see on the right side there is a system using hydraulic device okay you can control it using these um uh, uh what do you call it like zero inches okay all right 
Now, there is an example here so that you can understand the, um, you know, intensity, like how we use these hydraulic devices, okay? So, as you can see, here is a crane, it's a big crane, okay? So, they use hydraulic cables, okay? They use some kind of liquid inside them to control these arms of these. As you, uh, you probably have seen all the, uh, these cranes in your lifetime, it's quite big, right? So, um, to control these forces here, what they do is they transmit the force from the here to this arm and then to the next joint, okay? And that's how they um, use the actuators. Thank you for listening.